Reverse percentages. In this session, we will look at reverse percentages. In this type of question, you are given a certain percentage of an amount and you must work out what the original amount was. The key to this type of question is to remember that the original amount represents 100%. Let's look at the difference between the following two questions. Question 1. Work out 20% of 50. Question 2. 20% of an amount is 50. What is the amount? The first question gives you an amount and asks you to work out 20% of that amount. 20% of 50 equals something. The second question tells you how much 20% is and asks you to work out what the amount is. 20% of something equals 50. Let us solve these two problems. Number 1. Work out 20% of 50. We find 10% by dividing by 10. 10% 10 equals 5. To find 20%, we multiply by 2. 10% times 2 equals 20%, and 5 times 2 equals 10. 20% of 50 equals 10. Number 2. 20% of an amount is 50. What is the amount? 20% equals 50. To find 100%, we multiply by 5. 20% times 5 equals 100%. And 50 times 5 equals 250. 20% 20 of 250 is 50. More examples. Number 3. 15% of an amount is 60. Work out the amount. 15% equals 60. Divide by 3. 15% divided by 3 equals 5%. 60 divided by 3 equals 20. We now times by 20 to get 100%. 5% times 20 equals 100%. And 20 times 20 equals 400. 15% of 400 equals 60. Number 4. In a sale, the price of a jacket is reduced by 10%. If the sale price of the jacket is £45, what was the original price of the jacket? The original price of the jacket is 100%. You pay 10% less for the jacket. 100% take away 10% equals £45. 90% equals £45. We divide by 9 to get 10%. 90% divided by 9 equals 10%. And £45 divided by 9 equals £5. So we now have that 10% is equal to £5. We now times by 10 to get 100%, which gives us £50. Price of the jacket before the sale was £50. For practice questions on reverse percentages, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.